Hello my Yankee friends, it's Cindy Lynn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Thanksgiving projects. I have got quite a few little projects for you today, starting with these place cards. If you aren't a fan of the place cards I'm using, you can go to Creative Fabrica and type in place cards. If you don't have a membership with Creative Fabrica, don't worry got you covered with a free trial. You can go and download everything you see me use today. So we're gonna start with Design Space and I'm going to download these. I'll link a video down below with the download process if you need to know how to do that. But we're going to import this particular place card into Design Space. I was kind of preferable to this one. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is ungroup these. Now I'm pulling this apart to show you this line this line is a problem. This line should have been a score. So we are going to highlight that line and change it to a score. And then we're gonna reattach everything and now there'll be no more problem. Now, when you download this, it may be fixed, but if it's not, then you know what to do, okay? And you'll know because when you click it, it should say score. So we're gonna add some text and we're gonna type in the word grandpa. Now, go into your fonts here and click system and download that particular there font. If you're not sure how to download the fonts, again, I've got a video for you. I will link that so that you can get it all downloaded and use those when you are creating here, okay? And it's really important as well to change the font, change the word to a pen. Now, I Control C and Control V to copy paste three more times, then change this one to grandma, and I'm aligning these horizontally and vertically, okay? So that everything is kind of all centered and lined up. And then I'm just gonna rinse and repeat that for the dad and then rinse and repeat it again for the mom. So these, wait until you see the picture. These are so adorable. I just love them. And if you're one of those that you like, like me and you like to put everybody's name down, then this is gonna be so perfect for your holiday table, Thanksgiving or Christmas or any kind of party, right? I don't know why I moved these apart, but I guess I just felt the need to. You don't have to. But I do wanna talk about this paper. It's very important here to not use too heavy of a cardstock because it's just going to end up ripping. There's a lot of fine detail in here. So I actually use some Michaels 65 pound recollections, something or other. I'll link, um, I'll link to it on Amazon for you guys but uh, I just use a very thin, thin cardstock and I'm just gonna fast, fast forward that a little bit there so we can get past that process. Now, um, it did the red first because I had uh, selected the red and then it's gonna do the first matte second because I had the red one selected. But put any pen in here. I'll link some um, metallic pens. I thought they were really pretty and I find that the metallic pens, they're a little fatter. Uh, the tips aren't quite as fine. So it ends up, you don't have to color it in because if you are familiar with drawing with a pen with your Cricut, then you know that sometimes it's really, really thin and you have to draw them in. Like there's a couple little lines where I probably could have colored it in, but I didn't really, I didn't really think it was that big of a deal. So. I'm gonna use my little pick and I'm just gonna pick out all the little bits and a little bone folder there and I'm gonna score those. And if you don't have one of those Teflon bone folders, I'm also gonna link that because they are way cheaper on Amazon than you might think. But here, look at that. Is that not adorable? I just love it. So imagine searching for any, any style you want for your holiday tables. Now this here, this is, this is special. Xtool reached out to me and asked me if they if they could send me a machine, an engraver machine. Here it is. I said, sure. So I'm just trying this machine out and I gotta tell you, it worked beautifully. I'm loving it. So I'm testing out a few other things before I do a dedicated video. But this here little circle sign, I got it at Michael's on a, a coupon or a sale or what have you. And this Xtool, they have their own software, which really reminds me of Design Space. It's very, very similar. You're just gonna go hit there and, and connect your machine by USB uh, for this particular machine. Anyhow, I will link at the Xtool M1. But check this out. It has a camera inside the machine that is now showing me the image or the 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 item that I have in there. So here, I've got to find something to put on this. So I have a couple different signs and things that I had saved and I found this fall sign bundle and I really, really liked it and I almost went with the fall bucket list because it was so stinking cool. I wanted to put it maybe on a, 
on a cutting board. You can get those at the dollar store super cheap too. Well, you can in Canada, but this thankful and blessed, do you notice how thick and chunky that writing is? That's what we're going for, for this particular technique I'm going to show you today. So the key here is to download a PNG and that is a image with a transparent background. And as you can see, I can just click and drag it just like I can in design space. But here in the Xtool software, it's like so easy. Just click and drag and move it around and just get it placed where I want it. I'm gonna bump my power up to 100% and then I'm gonna do this little auto measure thing because what the machine does, this machine is way smarter than me. <laughs> it will auto measure the board in there and then it tells me how thick it is and then it knows what it needs to do. This thing is so unbelievably user friendly. I don't know if you sell your you know, things you make or whatnot on Etsy or anything like that. Click your process there. But anything you get on Creative Fabrica, you have a commercial license for, so you can sell them. Go ahead and click start. Imagine all the money that you could be making with all of these items that you could make with something like this. Or you know what, even if you just want it for your own personal hobby to do things like this, I was blown away. I love this. So I've got a couple different camera angles here for you. And the process for this was um, uh, about an hour and a half. So it took a while and I do have the exhaust system that goes, um, you can, doesn't really, it goes with it, but you have to purchase it separately. Xtool sent it to me. So I will link that down below too, but make sure you subscribe and follow me because I will be doing a dedicated video on this. I'm really going to dive deep and tell you what I like and don't like. So this, I didn't like this, but I knew that this was going to happen. So that, that yucky kind of burnt look, it, it comes off with alcohol. So I learned cause this is, this is actually my very first project on this machine. I do have you know, a very expensive laser engraver. It's like a $10,000 machine, um, totally different type of system, right? But I thought enough of this, I'm taking it up to the kitchen sink. I'm gonna pull out some Dawn dish soap because Dawn, I mean, if they can wash ducks with it, I can wash wood with it, right? Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. So I got that, look at that. It looks brand new, just like it did when I put it in. So I just wiped it off with my dish towel and I set it aside to dry. Now, some time has passed because I wanted it to dry and I've got this regular just glue, okay, white glue, and I wanna put it in this micro tip. And this is actually how I put all my glue for crafting and it's got that little silicone tip on there so it will, will not dry up on you. So here, let me let me explain to you what I learned because this was my very first time doing this, okay? And, and I know it turned out stunning, but it did not get there easily, okay? So I found that trying to apply all of the glue with the micro tip just wasn't gonna cut it. So if you have a big glue bottle or you pick one up specifically for this, be mindful of how much you cut off the tip, okay? You don't want too much glue to come out at once. I did find that just pouring it from the actual glue container was easier and then spreading it around with the micro tip was kind of a bit of a pain, but the micro tip was, I was able to get in those little places that I needed to fill. And as you can see, the glitter goes on easy and it comes off easy. That's just cheap glitter from Michaels. I'll try to find it on Amazon, but if I don't, any glitter is going to work here. So then I pulled out this little, I don't know, it's like a big, huge toothpick, nail tool, something or other. I use it for my resin art, but one end is pointy and the other end is flat. So I thought, well, maybe this is going to help me kind of spread that glue around a little bit better. And uh, I was still kind of feeling like there's got to be something better because this is taking so much time. I was able to scoop it up and kind of, you know, distribute it to other places easy enough. But this was the money right here. I pulled out just a junky little paintbrush that I don't really care about. And frankly, I cleaned it up and you would never know I used it for glue anyway, but don't use your expensive paintbrushes here, okay?
So spreading it around with a paintbrush was so much easier. And just tapping it off, as you can see, it just comes off so easily. Now, I am going to zoom in here because I wanna show you how easy it is to clean up where you go out of the lines, if you will, okay? It just comes off so effortlessly. So be mindful of the type of wood you're doing this on. Okay, there is a lot of little crevices that you can see there, but it came off without an issue. I mean, now the green, I made sure that I did my green last, okay, because I didn't want to do the brown second and then have the brown all in the green. I thought if a little bit of green ends up in the brown, no big deal, right? So I was just mindful of how I poured the the uh, glitter. Words are hard. I was mindful of how I poured the glitter off. But I mean, do you see how easy that was? So simple. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Now this, every little baby, every little baby that can wear a onesie first Thanksgiving has bringing rolls to dinner. So this is too cute. And I am going to give this onesie away in the comments. I want you to tell me about your little little baby in your life that'll be first Thanksgiving or maybe next year it'll be their first Thanksgiving. I just, just tell me and I will pick someone randomly from the comments, let me know who this would be perfect for and I'll just pick someone randomly from the comments and send it to you. So I chose the I brought rolls as you saw. I'm gonna link all these things that all these little SVGs and things that I used. I'll link them all for you below. This here, simple, attach it. I don't know why I made it blue. I just felt like making it blue. I don't like doing things on a black mat, I guess. Now here, type in iron, and I used iron on uh, glitter, and I should have just chose iron on glitter, but I think I chose everyday iron on there. Didn't really make much of a difference, but choose what you have. Okay, weeding here. I mean, you probably know how to weed. Um, if you don't, this isn't really a uh, cricket based channel, but I did want to bring you all of these Thanksgiving different decor items sponsored by Creative Fabrica. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I am a teacher at Creative Fabrica. I absolutely support and endorse everything about that company. Absolutely love them. I go to them for all of my SVG fonts, graphics, all of those needs. So as you can see here, I kind of did a little, uh, a little lint rolling my assistant. She's so adorable. She's very, very hard at work there. You'll see, you'll catch her again here hard at work in a moment, but I use my lint roller and I like to just press here one time before I actually do my final press. Now this machine, um, I did feature this in my last, my part one of this series. It is by HTV Ron. A dedicated video is coming this month in November. I absolutely love this machine. God, I love you. I'm obsessed with it. I adore it. I did have my little things stuck up there, my uh, little transfer sheet stuck up top there or my protectant sheet if you will so I just kind of got my little pick and brought it down now I had did a second one in pink so I will give away two of these so let me know again who these little I brought rolls onesies would be perfect for I mean Christmas is coming maybe they can wear it for Christmas but until I see you again take care and happy crafting <laughs>